Uh, should we, should should we we start? Skip, yeah, should we skip like all of the pomp and circumstance? Just ask a 49ers fan how they can write a movie <laughs> celebrating <laughs> the team that beat them. Are like, we recording yeah. yet? Okay. Yeah, yeah we're recording. recording. This is um, very important. You know, it's... It, they they asked me like literally the week after the Super Bowl. Yeah. It was like I was still in deep, deep mourning. Actually, to the point where my husband's like, Do you need to see somebody? Do you need to like yeah. go, you know, like I was really just in that space for a long time. And so when they called me, I was just like, Okay, I have got to figure out a way to separate this professionally from how oh, yeah. I actually feel. Yeah. And it's a big, you know, listen, I'm not saying I'm not gonna say no to it. Of course. Because, like, that would be insane. That would Can be you imagine if you're like, you know what, I'm going to pass? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll tell you what. The, the the rebellion I'm doing is is when we go to the Chiefs game, I'm going to wear red and black but with no logos. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that I'm not going to wear – I'm not wearing my Niners stuff. I'm not wearing anything. I'm just wearing the color that – it could be the Chiefs. It could be yeah. the Niners. You don't know. You just don't know. That's so, what uh, um, Kylie – is, doesn't Jason Kelsey's wife do that? She'll just wear the colors, but she doesn't have, like – Eagles yeah. gear, which I that's right because she's not an Eagles fan. That's right. right. She, is, she is an Eagles fan. She's from the oh. area. That's, oh wait, yeah. Jason Kelsey's wife Kylie is from this area. Oh, so what? So what? Who? You're somebody does that. You're somebody right. Somebody does that where when, they just wear when, the colors. Well, when yeah. when Kylie goes to a Chiefs game because Jason's oh that's, that's, what it, it. that's, that's it. it that's it. I'm not wearing that jersey. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. right. Though. So that's yeah. literally so like the, you know what Hallmark has embraced the irony. Of yeah. me doing the movie, and then we yeah. talk about it. I talk about it all the time, so it's just it's fine. Like, and 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 the truth is, and I've told, I've I've said this in a few interviews, is that you know doing all the research on the Chiefs, you know, I begrudgingly admit that they're like a nice organization and nice people. <laughs> <sighs> they're like oh, nice. It's that is nice, the worst. It's a nice yep. family, and yep. the fans deserve it because they waited so long. <laughs> you know, like I mean, it's true. <laughs> like, sure. So it's I have, still. especially because the the movie's about. I don't know if you saw it, but yeah. It's, Okay, so no, no, we haven't seen it. We yet. haven't yeah, seen the movie. movie. So it's about. I mean, it, it's it. They talk about the fifty year gap in in yeah. losing. You know, that's a then that's a big thing. I mean, that's why yeah. I sort of have a soft spot for Detroit too, a little yeah. bit. Of course, you the know? Lions can beat us. Uh, please don't, please don't. But the Lions, <laughs> absolutely, I agree yeah. with you. I I mean, I just have like I don't. Yeah. This is. This, this season's so bad. This season's so bad. I'm like, maybe the the because I believe in you know fate and faith because that's what this that's what the movie's about. Yeah. And uh I think okay, well, maybe because the, the Super Bowl is at Levi Stadium next year. Yeah. This just yeah, wasn't meant guys. to be. It's gonna be you guys. Yeah. It's next, it has to be next year. We had a home Super Bowl when I was a kid in um, yeah. at Stanford Stadium in the 80s, our first Super Bowl against Miami. So oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, my dad went. I have a t-shirt from it. My dad, my dad brought me, so I have it's, that. It's oh. listen. We know it's going to be the Niners in the Super Bowl next year, and they're going to win it. Who's going to be the halftime show? That's my question. Oh, oh for San Francisco. Well, yeah. it, un, see, it should be Journey, but I don't know if they're going to get them back because the Journey has a big, you know, Journey's a San Francisco band. Yeah. They play at the. You don't know. I bet you don't know this, but at after every game. When everyone's leaving, they yeah. play light. They play lights, and that's sort of like the get. That's like the like you know you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. But everybody sings, and then so at the last Candlestick Park game that we went to, we went to the very last game at Candlestick. They played that, and everyone's crying and singing oh, yeah. oh. and swaying, and it was just the saddest thing ever. And I really miss that park because Levi Stadium is like. Is but, it? Oh, that's too bad. Oh, we're going to the Detroit game on December thirtieth to see oh, us. Nice. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, That'd we have fun. a friend. Really we have a friend, Shannon, who is a huge Lions fan. Yeah, like huge. Yeah. And uh, she, I think, last year was her first. I don't know if it was her first time, but it was like a big deal that she got to go and she got to meet the head coach oh, and she really? has a picture with him. But I it was like, like, him. like I like it. I like like that it guy. was like a picture of her and her brother looked dumb in one of the pictures, <laughs> but not one of the other pictures. Yeah. So then I had to like Photoshop a good head of her brother on this. <laughs> oh photo yeah, yeah. So that, like the family could frame this photo of the two kids with the lion's coach. But like I'm, it's so photoshopped. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've never been able. I'm I'm hoping I can get on the sideline for this game, um, because now you know because I did that ESPN thing last year. Yeah. Oh, and this is a Monday night football game. So I'm like, hey, uh, yeah, you guys want to, you know. You, I feel like you've got connection now, too, because you also, having written a movie, 
about the Chiefs. You've got the yes. Travis Kelsey connection Monday night. You've got Jason Kelsey. I think you if you don't get on the sideline, something went terribly wrong. Well, if I don't get on the Niners sideline, that means they're mad at me. I, yeah. This, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not you. Like, I mean, I don't I don't think I'm getting you. on the Chiefs. Now, everyone's speculating, you know, well, how close will, will our seats be at the Chiefs game? Yeah. To yeah. the other oh. to the other suite. Right, and I, I don't have that answer. I don't oh. feel like I don't feel like we're gonna be able to just like walk into the suite and be like, hey. But Donna, look, I know Taylor Swift's gonna watch this movie, which is crazy, yeah. right? Like, she, like, that's wild. She's absolutely watching it because yeah. her, her and Trav are gonna like you know have a little movie night, of and course. they're all gonna be home for Thanksgiving, and yeah, yeah, I'm sure of it. So, um, I don't really know what that means, except are you a, cool. are you a true Swifty or no? I'm not. I'm like a yeah. I'm like a casual Swifty. I'm, I'm a true Swifty man. I have a 10 year old a, daughter. So a yeah, see, I have a 15 year old son and he's yeah. like, nah. Yeah. So I yeah, get it. No, we, he likes classic rock. And actually I had to bribe him to stop playing guitar for the, so we could do this. Uh, he could have, he could have rocked it. Tell him to play lights, play lights, and make it go. And that's back. a good song for him to learn. He doesn't have that one. Yeah. yeah that's, that's good. Uh, so yeah. Julie, when you, when they were like, Hey, do you want to write this movie about your least favorite football team? <laughs> did you, <laughs> Did they tell you who was already cast? Like no, 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 not process? at all. I didn't no, think Tyler. So. Tyler, yeah, because that because it sort of He's done so the, the ESPN thing happened because like right. love was in the air, right? So that was the whole thing. Was like the like you know this is the first time anybody's sort of uttered you know romance and football sort of having the same moment, right? Yeah. So that happened, and then they did that little short. I did not have anything to do yep. with that, but they did okay. that, and then so I think that's when Hallmark and and. Um, the NFL and the Chiefs sort of said, like, what you know, since they're both Kansas City juggernauts, like, right. why wouldn't we do something together? And that's how it happened. And, and then when it once it happened, it happened fast. It was like, yeah, there were so many layers of people to go through for approvals and all that stuff, like, so much more in, intense than a normal movie, like, by 10, by a thousand. Yeah, so just so many people have to approve everything. So I had this idea kind of in my head anyway, and sort of found a way to make that into the chiefs movie. So oh, I, nice. I, I, so I kind of had, because it's a lot about um, like superstition and faith mm -hmm. and, and, and all yeah. that kind of stuff. And, and uh, like the fan, like the generational, you guys know more than anybody, like the generational love you have for a team that you pass down. Right. So my dad right. passed it to me. I passed it to my son. He gets the jacket, you know, it's like, it's a whole thing. So um, it worked for, for that because yeah. it felt, it felt like, it was a it's because it's not about football so much as it's about family and tradition yes. and yeah. Christmas and all that other stuff. So so um all I had was Chiefs and Tyler Hines. That's all that okay. is what I Great. started. So you with. did know that it was uh Tyler Hines. Did, yes. This is like a, this might be a weird question, it might be, but just because I just think he's lovely. But yeah. He has such a different, unique. Because I'm, we're also big Letter Kenny fans, so we've also seen the other side of Tyler Hines. Yeah. So like, and we love both equally. But he has such a different take, I feel like, on this like leading man role. Yeah. So yeah. when you knew you were writing for him to be able to deliver these lines, was there anything that you sort of were like, oh, or did you just write it and know kind of and just I just kind of I just kind of knew, but you know, I, I know he likes to always have something like a toothpick or something <laughs> in his mouth. I was gonna so, ask. I, yeah. So there is there are a couple moments where he's got like a candy cane in his Amazing. mouth or something like that. But like we didn't want to do it. Like obviously you can't shoot an entire movie with some with toothpick hanging out of his mouth. So we did that. I mean, I he was he's so good in this movie. I I can't wait for you guys to see it. Like I, he is just he and Hunter, everybody's amazing. Like the cast we yeah. got is phenomenal. Yeah. The, the moments with Hunter and Tyler, I because I get nervous when I watch the movie for the first time and I just saw it like not even a week ago and okay. I get nervous and I'm like, what did they cut? You know, what's, what's still there? How did it turn out? How the, and I was just delighted. I was just sitting on the couch and I was just like, Oh my God, Oh my God. Like I was just so happy with what they did and they brought yeah. so much to the roles, so much nuance and they're adorable together. I just love it. I'm so happy. I they're, just, two, yeah. they're two of their best stars. Like we yeah, agree. Hunter, Great. Hunter's a delight. I, I, she's wonderful. I just, we had the best time on the cruise, just hanging out. And Tyler's so, they're, everyone's very gracious. Tyler is extremely, you know, grateful and gracious to his fans and to me. Yeah. And yeah. you know, he's always very complimentary about the script and talking. 
you know, talking uh, up the writer, which is nice. You know, it doesn't yeah. happen all the time, you know? No, it doesn't. Speaking of cruises. Oh, wait, I know you want to talk about that, but I, I, I'm i just curious about the writing. Um, do you feel like you're known, Julie, as being the football person, right? I mean, I just assume. So I guess so. When yeah. when <laughs> you were approached by Hallmark, was that part of the thought process is Julie knows football, so. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. And the ESPN thing was very um, mm -hmm. yeah. well received and, and Hallmark, I believe, was pretty pleased about what how, yeah. how, like, how it went. Yeah. It was only supposed to air once and it ended up airing like the entire next day yeah. a bunch of times. So um, I that was hard for me because, you know, I was in it and I, I'm not used to being on camera. And all I could think was like, wow, I really need Botox. Like there was just like this, this, <laughs> this like, like, because I had my, so all you see was some of the shots. It was just like my, my eyes and my yeah. forehead. Yeah. And they'd done all the stage makeup, which just settles into everything. It's just like, like creases oh my, even more. Yeah, so nobody's noticing this but me, of course. But I'm just thinking, oh my God, like to the boat, to the Botox immediately. I've never, yep. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. But I'm, I'm going close to. to it. I'm very close to it. And I, yeah, just I haven't, I haven't quite gotten there yet, but uh, that's why the hat's nice. That's uh, I was at the dermatologist today, but that was for other reasons. <laughs> see, you wear, so. see what we do. We wear a hat and then we button up all the way like Yeah. This. Or yeah. usually, usually yeah. I have like, like a this. big chunky scarf on to hide yeah. all of my chins. Perfect time of year. Yeah, yeah, By the yeah. way, you guys don't know this. So there was a viral video on Reels last, like a few months ago that was a fight between a Niner fan and a Rams fan. And I am in it oh. because they're next to me and I'm going to the security guard. Like, I told you these guys were going to start <laughs> fighting. And everyone starts calling me like, do you know that you're in like this viral reel about a, a fight at the Rams game? Yes, yeah, so I'm I'm I am the football person. I not yeah. even meaning not even meaning to be. So what so. we'll take from this is you got into a fight and it's on reels. Yeah. I didn't get into the fight. I was trying I, to break no, I get up it, the, but like you know, we want to get proof is in the reels. I was trying to break up the fight and really I, I called security over many minutes before the actual fight. I'm like, they are going to get into yeah. a fight. You need to break them up. And so the video is just me being like, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll find it. We'll but it's not, it. again, not a good angle. It's a side because the person it's, that, the person who posted it was sitting next to me. And then yeah. it was the person, me, the fight. Right. So it's just a side angle. So I didn't show anybody because I'm like, I don't, I don't need that kind of. I don't need yeah. that out there. I don't, yeah. you still add it to your IMDb and you're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, I, I never even added the ESPN thing to my IMDb. No, oh, it's not. On. I know. I got to do that. Yeah. I, I forgot. Yeah. Who updates? Do you update your own IMDb? Uh, I, I, yeah. If you, you can if you pay the money. Oh, okay. Yeah, professional. You can update your own because sometimes things are wrong and you got to be able to just fix it. Well, you know? did you see uh, Jonathan Bennett's husband, his occupation now on, uh, on James's IMDB says Jonathan Bennett's husband. As That's, well, he, on the cruise, they made t-shirts for <laughs> him and Hunter's fiance. No, it was for him and uh, maybe Neil Dodson, which is Ashley's husband. And then, mm. Uh, well, you said Hallmark husband. That's true. Oh, That's what she okay. I don't know if that ever got on any social media, but it was cute. A little bit, a little bit. I follow yeah. some of the gals that went. Um, speaking of cruises, yes. I just wanted to bring this photo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to tell you a very sad story. Would you like to hear it? Of Please. Course. I was uh, supposed to, I, I was invited to this cabana <sighs> situation and I did not go. Come on. I had, to work. I, had, I, had a I have a deadline literally on Thanksgiving and I'm behind. So I, Stay oh. on the ship and worked, and then this is what I miss. You this know is what? what I miss respectfully. Will Kemp knew that you weren't there. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna leave my shirt on so she doesn't miss everything. <laughs> I was just very disappointed. I was very disappointed. <laughs> yeah. But then again, do I want to be prancing around in my bathing suit with all this? With all I don't want to company? be next to that. I don't want to be next to that. Yeah, I asked I'd be fine. I would have done it. I'd have been like, I don't care. On Nobody's looking at me. Was it two episodes ago when I first brought this picture up? Yeah. I was like, okay. Whose abs do we want? Like Kevin, BJ, at, BJ look at BJ. No, because yeah. look, you can't. You can see it. You can see you the can little cut the there. Little, yeah, 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 yeah. No, when no, you I touch will, BJ's will, arm, yeah. you touch BJ's arm. It's just like it's just, yeah. it's solid. It's just yeah. it's, there's no there's no. It's it's ridiculous. These people. It's unbelievable. Uh, they weren't even in the gym, by the way. I was in the gym. They weren't there. Already sweating. No, that's the thing. I think they just wake up and they're like, here we go. Exactly. How how was the cruise? How was it? Did you? Oh, yeah. did it was you great. Fun? Yeah, it was really yeah. fun. It was really fun. Um, uh, from my perspective, the best part was that 
because these are all super fans is that they actually knew who I was. Yeah. And right. it was very, that's sort of never been yeah. my experience at any of these things where people sort of, so Brooke Dorsey actually like dragged me over to the crowd because people were asking for me <laughs> for awesome. taking pictures. Awesome. I said, like, really? And so that was just really cool. And then I got to talk to some people that I've, that I've uh, spoken to, you know, online on Instagram or whatever, yeah. and just meeting people in real life that I had uh, had ex interactions with online. And it was just very, it was just delightful. And then getting to write some sort of different stuff for them to do was really fun. Um, I wrote a scene where they all played against type, uh, basically. Yeah. And then I, I did that, that I was just so fun. That. And, That's amazing. Yeah. So I wrote that. And then I, there was a, I wrote like a ghost story and Ooh. they acted that they pantomimed the ghost story out and it was really, and then I did a, I wrote a little meet cute for one person to, um, like an you know a passenger to do with Will with Will Kemp, so oh that's awesome. We had a good time yeah. doing that, um, and then uh, it was just it was just it was just like a whole love fest. It was great. Was that always like sort of like so? There's no way I could afford to go on something like this unless I just didn't do anything else the rest of the year. So <laughs> everyone kept asking, Chris, are you going? Are you going? I was like, are you starting a GoFundMe campaign? Because I I'm not. That's going. a good idea. But yeah, um. But uh, the, like during the day, so I've been on one cruise in my life. Nope, two Disney cruise. But I was a little kid, so I don't right. remember. I, what we're I did we're, we're big Disney cruisers, so I have a bit of a. I'm a little snobby about certain things. Certain things. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. like during the day, was the whole cruise like? Was every single human being on that cruise there for the Hallmark thing? Yes. Or were they okay? They That's were. Wondering. There was other stuff to do, but it was mostly Hallmark stuff. I okay. would say. And there, and then we saw people. You know, I would be up upstairs, and I would see people like you know, sunbathing and swimming and sort of doing cruise things. And then we'd see yeah. people at the bar, and they'd have having some drinks and stuff. But it was just you were just surrounded by Hallmark yeah. activities, and it was the cutest thing because you know how on Disney cruises everyone decorates their doors, and there's the fish yes. exchange thing, and you exchange presents and stuff. They did somebody smartly did that for this and they uh, put up cool. stockings and they decorated their doors and everyone oh. had stockings and they would just go around and give gifts. And I think on the second cruise, the uh, Tyler and all those guys like I put that. stuff in the, very, so it was just very sweet. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was, uh, yeah. It was, it's cause it cool. they've already, I've already gotten like an email about like book it for next year. And I yeah. was like, Hallmark, you're coming at me hard, but I still don't make enough money to go. On this yeah. Cruise. They, um, they, they, it was very successful. I think that it's a great thing to do. I think that yeah. if it, it, it'll get easier and easier as well. I think that yeah. even the second cruise ha was a little bit um, easier to, to run for them because it was sort of, you know, they're figuring out what the kinks were good. You just oh, don't yeah. know how things are going to go. I don't know how you know? an audience, A, will react to some of this right. or B, right. how involved they want to be. Yeah. And then you can change some of probably the activities, Yeah, you know, it's, to cater. Did you get to have any downtime yourself? You said you were working. Like, did you take um, Yeah, actually, um, it's funny. So I had most of my stuff was sort of backloaded to the last two days. So the first okay. day, I was wandering around, you oh. know, just nobody knew who I was. And I just sort of went to the casino and hung yeah. out and did some work. And um, then after the, oh, what was first? Oh, because Jonathan introduced me uh the night before the the first activity that I was okay. in charge of, and so mm -hmm. then then it was then it was sort of, um, are you you know that kind of thing? Yeah, it was like cool. Yeah. It was like look, I don't know yeah. how actors do, I don't know how actors do it because even oh, yeah. just getting people recognizing you and kind of looking at you is weird. Yeah, it's, they're it's, trying to figure it out, and then they're trying yeah. to figure out: Are you an approachable person? How will you react to me saying, yeah. "Are you are you"? Yeah. And well, like, somebody recognized me in the buffet and I was just, I, I, like I said, I was just shocked. I, yeah. I, I, like, how do you, she said, oh, I follow you on, on Instagram and whatever. Okay. And, okay. So, yeah. And I said, don't, please don't make eye contact with me. I'm very important. Not on the buffet line. Please Come do not. Line. I, didn't say, I, I didn't say that. That's not what I said. I said, <laughs> I said, let's go, let's go get in line for soft serve and have a. <laughs> <laughs> I've only gotten recognized like, so. Yeah, maybe once for comedy sports, but a few times for this kid show that I'm on. But it's not the kids that recognize me. It's the parents that have to have that episode on 9,000 times. That's so funny. House. And yeah. they're like, are you? I yeah. recognize. And they're, you're like, your voice. Because they're just oh. listening to this episode over. That's cute. That's like the... um. 
by the way, my, my, we were at a bar mitzvah a couple of years ago and Connor was sitting next to this really cute girl and it was in LA and they were flirting. He was 13 and, it, and, and she's adorable, having a great time flirting. Turns out she's the voice of Coco Melon. Oh, that's cool. I'm like, that's cool, man. Like you got the digits of Coco. Yeah. Melon, but, but then, you know, we don't live there and it was, all, it was just, yeah. they never spoke. I think they texted a couple of times and that was it, but it was just really funny. I'm so like, that's, cool. that's a pretty good, how do you, that's a pretty good start to your, uh, still super, super cool. Oh man. <laughs> Man, oh man. So yeah. you have, uh, obviously we're excited about this Chiefs one, but you have the other one that you got wrote. Uh, yes. Goodness, I'm going to pull I've up our right. picture. Don't worry about it. Kind of there, it the rocks. there it is. So uh, here's the thing. Kevin and I usually like to be like, okay, great. Well, at least there's one for our Jewish friends. Yeah. Do yes. we think in a world of Hallmark, we'll get more than one there a year? Apparently is the second one this year. Oh, good. Okay. I, I don't know anything about it. I can't even talk about it. It's called yeah. like Leia's perfect gift or something like that. However, oh. I believe it does have Christmas also. So this so Hanukkah see. on the Rocks is the only like straight Hanukkah. Okay. Yeah. I'm saying like a lot. It's the only like straight like Hanukkah, like straight That's one. <laughs> I, I, I get tired and my LA comes out. That's um, fine. I yeah. am so beyond excited for this because the second I saw Mark Summers is involved, I was like. I can't. He's Please delightful. Please yeah, tell nice. me there's so many physical challenges. Throughout there's the not, there isn't, but I think I, I can't remember. See, <laughs> I'm the worst. I don't remember. I know I made a, I know I made a, a joke. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't remember what it was. I think it was something about double dare. I don't remember. Yeah. It's in there somewhere. Perfect. Um, I hear he's a super nice dude. Oh, you know what? They might've done a joke because the, his character needs to like jump over the bar Yes. Oh yes. So I think physical challenge did that. I don't remember. I, I like really that he's got to do it. That's what you got to do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I they have they have to have done it. It was yeah. my dream as a child to do the ending course of oh. that. Oh really? Because, yes. Like you stick your hand in and pull out you the flag. Stick your hand and you pull oh, it out and yeah. you go down that t the tongue. Yeah. Like it was like yeah. goals in life, and because I was like none of these kids. No, oh, what are you doing? They take too long. Yep. I would just breeze through. You would have, you would have aced it. That was I, I wanted to be famous because I wanted to go on Battle of the Network Stars. Yes. Yep. I'm aging myself. I'm aging myself. Yeah. Now but it's hot ones. I feel like hot ones is what you want to do if you're famous now. I just yeah. Battle of the Network Stars. Here's why. Because I was a swimmer. Yeah. And they all could, and there was always a swimming race and they all, they were always terrible. And I'm like, I could kick their asses. I just want right. to be, I just need to be a network star. That's all I have to do. Yep. Yeah. Then I too could swim. And you would also be hanging out with Tony Danza every weekend. Then. That's right. And Fonzie. Yep. So, oh, the Fonzie. Yeah. Here's something I'm going to name drop. I met both of them. That's not name dropping. That's just saying who I've met. It's just a fact. Yeah. It's a fact. I, so I I met uh, Winkler. Winkler, right? Henry Winkler. I, you know what? I, I don't think she met him. Say his name. I, don't believe, I don't think she met him now. He I came to my acting him. school and he gave a speech and then he high fived everybody. But then Tony her. Danza, this is weird. Yeah. I used to teach marching band, uh, taught the color guard, and he did some sort of TV special where he had always wanted to work with a marching band. So he like worked with a local in Philadelphia area yeah. marching band and they filmed him like working with the kids and stuff. So I met him because yeah. he was like in the staff room at one of the things. And I do I'm, like I like a good drum line. Maybe he just really dug a drum line. Yeah. I think that's yeah, I'm a and it was for a just good... wild because none of the kids knew who he was because they were too young. Wait, you were yeah. in high school? No, 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 no. Oh, you were teaching. Tom really? Danza might be this... personally responsible for me living in Connecticut because Greg, my husband, yeah, he always wanted to live in Connecticut too. That was the thing we had in common. We always had this dream of living in New England because he would watch the opening to Who's the, Who's the Boss. boss? Yes. And her little truck would go through the leafy yeah. street. And he was yeah. like, wow, where's that? I want to live there. Yeah. And it yep. was Connecticut. And Amazing. then we moved here. And then we found out that was really New Jersey. <gasps> yeah. Well, come on down to Jersey. It's Any not time. Time. We're yeah. fine. We're happy. Like, it's all good. But, <laughs> Is that, so, but you pivoted and started watching, like, Gilmore Girls. Because yeah. you're like, we're in Connecticut. We may as well. The, I watched it before. I'm, I'm, I, was a, I, I knew I was going to live here eventually. I just knew it. I actually, uh, this is, so... At Levi Stadium, when they built it, it was 10, 10 years ago, yeah. I think, 10 years ago, that you could buy a brick and write whatever on oh, the right. brick yeah, and yeah, put it yeah. in the front. I was so sure we were moving to Connecticut that our brick says the Wolves, the Wolf family, Connor, Connor, uh, Julie Greg Connor, or Greg Julie Connor. Then it says SF, where I'm from, LA, where they're, he's from, CT. 
Oh, I put it in a brick. It's it's in the brick. You manifested. I, I manifested life. it. Yes, and we we are, we'll be visiting the brick for the first time. You know, at the Lions Niners game. Oh. Well, will you be in a reels fight again at that game? I'm wondering. The last two uh, Niner games that we've been to have had fights in the stands. And so listen, them. why does Philly get the yeah, bone? Why don't we get it? like yeah? We threw batteries know. once. Yeah, like I don't. Was, even at the, it was the last, so the last one I was at in San Francisco was a candlestick and that there, yeah. and we had nice seats and there's still a fight right in front of us. Guys like tumbling down the seats. Yeah. And then uh, the one, the one I witnessed was at SoFi and oh, that doesn't yeah. count because those are LA people that yeah. are. Yeah. The, the yeah. Guess doesn't count. We expect a fight there. That's, That's true. the game where last year, somehow there was some kind of glitch on um, the ticket app and I got two tickets for $18. Whoa. 50, wow. 50 yard line. What? I didn't That's think it was you can get those price tickets for the 49ers this season. Yeah, no, like this was they were yeah. they were worth so much money. And I even then so I brought a friend of mine thinking like these are gonna be fake and there's no way this yeah. is real. So I'm gonna bring a friend who won't get yeah. mad. So I brought her and, and we, we didn't believe in it until it scanned and we got in, and then it was just insane. That's awesome. People Isn't that crazy. It's true though, because so we had a show. Are you you have kids? Are you familiar yes. with Dogman the books? So there's yes, like, yeah. yeah. So we had Dogman the musical come to the theater that I work at, and it was the first time we ever had sort of like a commercialized sort of thing like that. And people were selling tickets for like like ridiculous amounts really? of money, and then showing up to our theater with them. And we had to tell them and their children that no, those aren't real. Oh, those were scammers. And this kid would be like, "What? That's <laughs> like, terrible. How mean is that? That's like, such bad karma." I think that what happened was that some somebody got pissed at somebody and said, "I'm putting your tickets on the maybe uh, on the thing for eighteen dollars." Oh is, yeah, yeah. Because it said like there was. Oh, I was just looking divorce. at tickets, and all of a sudden it was, it was like you know, 300, 400, 500, four. It said four, 18 total. Wow. Four dollars, it said on the thing, and I'm like, uh, I don't even care if this is fake. I'm just gonna, I'm yeah, just gonna well, see this through. Yep. <laughs> like, really, this sounds like the makings of a good rom com, right yeah. there. It's obviously somebody was selling off a, a, a couple true. broke up. They sold yeah. off tickets. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four and bucks. then whoever, whoever bought, because there were four. Yeah. So it's they wow. bought, they, they all got, they each got their tickets for eighteen dollars, and then they met. But I can't because yeah. you know what? There's a whole kind of it's sort of a little bit in the story in the movie in the holiday touchdown there's a little bit of that oh, okay all right well yeah. we can't wait to see you then so also i'm pretty i'm pretty sure you watch every single episode of remark and therefore you know that kevin and i are uh brilliant at fixing plots and what we like to call plot soup so if you ever need to you know ping pong ideas yes yeah I, no i don't ever feel julie's got plot soup going she's doing no, julie she doesn't, doesn't. but what yeah. i'm saying is we just want to be a part of whatever magic you're creating. <laughs> That's it. We get to help you with dumb, uh, sort of, ooh, I, here it is. I'm pitching okay. this. And a name? Happen, what's that, Kevin? I thought you were going to give a name, like throw out like the name of a town mayor. Oh, yeah. I'd like I to can do mayor. that. That's I can tell I, can I that just you. need in my life to be yeah. mayor like Clumberbuck. <laughs> and she like loves Christmas. But also, her son died three years ago, so she's confused about Christmas. So, do you need to be her, or do you? Can I just name? Do you need some? Do you need me to just name her? You can you name her. her. You could okay. name her. But Julie, I have dreams. I went to a two-year acting academy, uh, so I do. And one Danny DeVito it's, went to. You're gonna have to move to Canada, though, Chris, I if know. you really want this to happen. For I yourself. know that's because the problem. The sweet... also, you're asking a writer. That's your other problem. I know. <laughs> I'm asking the wrong people. She's like, girl, no. No, like you gotta understand that. Uh, no, Tyler Hines was so nice when he was on the one time. He's like, "Oh yeah, yeah," and then he was like, "Where do you live again?" I was like, "Philly." He's like, "Ah, I can't help yeah. that." <laughs> well, they just did the. They just did this thing, and uh, so I do have a connection in Connecticut because uh, the guy who produces so many movies, you know, they were he's done three and soon to be four of mine, and we just launched this they just launched this connecticut christmas movie tour map you know oh, map right. of locations I saw that. yeah yeah yeah. And, yeah. Um, that was really that was a fun little party actually because it was wes wes brown was there and aaron cahill and me yeah. and the producer it was great um but so there is always a every so often you can be an extra if you're in connecticut so i try and get people to my 
my friends are in one royal holiday. It was a thousand degrees. They're in coats, and you see their backs. Yeah, for a good five seconds because they're in line in front of the, the stars at the coffee ha- at the coffee shop. Oh, I was so, hoping it was the parade. Isn't isn't one royal? No, house? it wasn't at the parade. No, they oh, were like oh. in the, you know, it was the coffee. It was the coffee house. Yeah, okay. yeah. So I did. saw like a lot of. I think maybe like six people sent me that link this year to, and then I was like, "Y'all read the fine print." I don't live in Connecticut. I can't. Did you have to that. actually live here? Yeah, you oh. had to be a resident of oh. Connecticut. Yeah. Well, listen, listen. If you want it bad enough, Chris. Yeah. yeah. No, I was gonna say, Chris, just put down Julie's address. <laughs> you know, it's that's its yeah. own rom com. It's like it's like going to college. You put down the like yeah, you're Native American, right. and you just get yeah. what you get yeah. wherever yeah. you yeah. want. Yeah, yeah. My goodness gracious. Um. So you okay? So you did two this season. Yeah. yeah. Do they make? Do you get to do the love you Larry? Do you get to do, or do you like? Are you like I'm a holiday gal? It's not. Yeah. It just sort of. <sighs> it just sort of works out the way it works out. So like right now I'm writing something for it's sort of a summer slash it's a two parter. It's sort of a summer slash yeah. no spring slash late summer. Got you. Thing. Yeah. So, and I don't do it on purpose. It's just sort of whatever happens and things go into development and then they sit yeah. there forever. Yeah. So this one was in development for a couple of years and then suddenly just sort of, a, you know, came back around. Um, I, I have something already kind of going for Christmas 26. Oh, because wow. it sort of takes some advance planning to make it work. And then, okay. um, so, you know, I don't have like a 25 movie. I'm, I'm not worried. I think I'll, something will pop up or I'll do some, I'll do a rewrite. I'll do something. I just don't have yeah. happen to have anything. But mostly that writing happens in the spring and early summer for okay. Christmas. Yeah. So I'm trying to finish these two things because they, uh, they're, it's a kind of a complicated thing. And then, um, there's people, you know, always kind of angrily waiting for something from me because I have to, I say, Hey, the network told me I have to do this first. I'm really sorry. And like, yeah. I'm, I'm trying my best to get this done so I can do this, but every, you know, everyone wants their, their movies to go. So yeah. I try to, but I'm also not a robot. You no, know, you're, you're human. It's hard. I'm like, Field, Field Day was a spring movie, wasn't it? Or summer? That was movie? fall. That was a fall was one. Fall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I wait. Yeah. I remember. I I I love this because now that we're past where you know when Field Day was last year, mm-hmm. um, you had written it, and I think you had just turned it in, or or because uh, it's been two years since we oh, talked. Yeah. Right? And oh. it, by sheer coincidence, I edited this out of our episode, but by sheer coincidence, we had just talked to Benjamin Ayers, and he oh. said. I'm going to be in Vancouver. Oh, that's what it was. We couldn't talk yeah. to him. He said, I'm going to be in Vancouver, but I'll get in touch with you guys. And when we talked to you, I think it was just because it was on Kristen's mind. She goes, oh, is Benjamin Ayers going to be in that? And it was like, uh, you were like, like lit up. And you're oh, like, shit. oh, it was awesome. But I cut it out because I was like, well, I'm not yeah, going to. I would have gotten in trouble. You got in trouble. Yeah. I got to yeah. stop asking the questions. Yeah, well, who's in your very, 2026 very clever, movie, though, Julie? Tell us. Yeah. yeah. I wish, I mean. The somebody asked me this earlier today, actually, like you know, how how often do you know who the cast is? So yeah. what I'm writing right now, I do know who it is because we pitched it together. But gen- oh, cool. I would say that's sort of on that's sort of rare yeah. to, to already know. Um, and I try and write it so it doesn't have to be a particular person because what if it yeah. doesn't work out and then it doesn't yeah. work anymore? It doesn't sound right. When you so like. The nice thing that Kevin and I are really loving is the changing of sort of plot points, but then also changing of like how a family's dynamic, like what the definition of family means. Right. Obviously, um, we're seeing so much more delightful um, LGBTQ like plus like sort of relationships and stuff like that. Is that when you write a story, um, do they tell you like, like, because obviously... Like, you know, we're going to really. cast same sex for this. And then does it change the, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know what? The, write them specifically for that. Eh, uh, I don't even know. So like, like I'll use wedding every weekend as an example. Yeah. Um, There were multiple couples in the thing. And then they decided to make one of them uh, a lesbian couple that was getting mm-hmm. married. And what I was, I was pretty adamant about was not changing the dialogue that much because sure. it's and just it's a normal couple getting married. It doesn't you. need to be about being a gay couple getting married. Yeah, and people seem to really yeah. like that, that it was just sort of like 
that that's yeah. there, not every topic of every conversation of every gay person is about being gay. Right. Yes. You know, and not in my life, you know, we don't, I right. don't talk, I don't usually talk to my gay friends about their gayness. We just yeah. are, we're just having our normal conversation. So right. that was sort of, that was something I kind of, you know, that was right at the beginning when we started doing that. I think that was the first um, kiss ever, same sex on the, the network was that movie. So sometimes I write it in like that. Um, what I'm writing right now, I wrote it in. No one told me to. And mm -hmm. if, if they do it, they do it. And if they don't, they don't. But I have, I did write it in just because it sort of worked for what I was doing. Sure. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's no, you know, unless you're specifically hired to write a movie about that, sure. then it's sort of, you're not really say, okay, but you have to put in this, 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 and this. It's sort of just, you know, if it feels right, you do it. And then if they, if something can have, comes up with casting, Right. And it and it works, and then that you know, then you can change it to 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 be whatever you need it to be. So, yeah, but I th thank you for saying that because it, it's that is the thing that sometimes when uh, movies are written, it's written for this like type of what they think the people would talk about. And we don't, right? Like we're just, it's a regular relationship. It's not, you yeah, know, it's not just talking about like I don't talk about, I mean, talk about football all the time, <laughs> right. but. Still, that's I was fine. gonna say that's not all I am, but I guess it is. <laughs> we think you're so much more, so much more, so so much. I can't more. think of what right now, but I, so much I'm more. grasping. You're a Jewish. Yes. Jewish. No, you're a Jewish, Jewish mother who loves sports. Jewish, Jewish football. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I mean, like, so that, so that was that was sort of that. I, but I actually think I had to kind of. I think there was a discussion about it, you know, whether or not to start to, to make it about that, to make the topic of the conversation that I said, I said, trust me on this. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's just not, make, just play it straight. Just play it. Not straight. Yep. <laughs> not play it straight. Yeah. <laughs> I hope someone said that to him. Listen, we're just going to play this straight. And <laughs> these two sweet women. Wait, what? What? <laughs> do, do you feel, cause you, you are very cutting edge with what, Home, you you t tend to be at the at the ground level, um, even with like holiday spectacular. Th there's such a push now for the Broadway uh, movie, essentially. Yeah. At, at Hallmark, which is awesome. I assume next year there will be another football. The Eagles, they'll, they'll go Eagles next year. Although there's, I don't know. I don't know. I would like to. I would love that, but I yeah. just yeah. No, so far, I don't know. So far, but um, as I I have the 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 strange thing of casting major Broadway stars in so many of my movies and not, never having them sing. Yeah. What, which what if we just sucks. Where we were yeah. like, how are they not singing? Because oh this God, was, it was, you know, they, they actually, well, one real holiday was just chock full of Broadway stars. And that yeah. was during COVID. Like it was mm -hmm. right at the end. Like right, we were the first production back. Hallmark. Don't worry. We're just talking about this. <laughs> there you go. But in actuality, we're just talking about this. <laughs> That's all we ever really talk about, Chris. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering why there's not not such a photo for Cruise too. Listen, I put it out there. I even texted Sweet Andrew Walker, like, "Hey, listen, bro, they showed you up. Where's yeah?" You know. But he was wearing kind of a sheer little number on the stage. I noticed yeah. um, when when they were doing their thing. So I, yeah, maybe they maybe I'm that was it. maybe that was the eye candy that everyone was waiting for. I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I say things on your podcast that like I, we're I mean, very um nothing's uh, nothing is nothing is gonna get me into trouble, but it's just no. <laughs> no, but that's the dream of our podcast is that we don't want it to just be like everyone else's. Uh just come on, just talk, say whatever you want. Just talk, whatever. I Here's all the stuff I'm writing right now that's secret. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> go ahead. I've got I'm ready. Go, go. <laughs> Yeah, there's no That's clues. Like, there, there's no clues right now. Yeah, like, no. You could like you could see a guy. Is there a guidebook for a certain place that I'm? No. <laughs> oh, I mean, I want to no. see. Yeah. No. No. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, nope, some there's... some of these movies are going to pretty cool, like on location things. What's yep. this one coming out? They're on a like a glacier with yeah, uh, Kate Lacey. Yeah, like, they really did go there. That yep. must be cool. Yeah, it's pretty like, cool. Man, oh, yeah. man. Uh, I may or may, may not be writing something that has a destination. That's what I can say. There you it's, go. I, that's that's pretty that's pretty vague. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's it could be a destination. It could it the could destination be, could be Ottawa. You don't know. Right. It could you be your know. backyard. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what I'm saying. Or it could be Ireland. 
Oh, I think I, I, I would love that. Start naming yeah, places. I think I missed the Ireland uh, boat. I know. They yeah, they've done Ireland, Ireland a couple of times. I think they're going to they're gonna put a pin in Ireland. Listen, I'm not going to say yes or no to any other places that you say. Okay, fine. I don't want you to narrow it down. Uh, it. Uh, Is it no, Benjamin no. Ayers? I don't know any. I don't. I was bad at geography, so I don't know many other places. Yeah. <laughs> See, this uh, well, is this is why I can't lie about I anything because I, I show every single election, right? So last time we played uh, real like a Bruce, a blue spruce, or fake like a balsam hill spruce. Oh Bowl. my god, I forgot about that. Yeah, yes. yeah. So I have something similar. My first question is the exact same thing. So it's: Is this a real title or a fake title? You have to find the real title. Okay. Work. Uh, we'll go to Julie first because Great. she was our guest. Yeah, of course. Julie, which is the correct title of this movie? I made this real easy because it's been two years and I okay. want you to come back. Is it always Amore? Is it sometimes Amore? Or is it almost <laughs> never Amore? Well, I think we all know that it's always oh, Amore. It right. is. With Autumn Reeser and Tyler Hines. You've worked with Tyler multiple times. What do you do, Kevin? Whatever you're doing, it's your paper. Oh, it's, it's my paper? paper. I won't touch it. I'll keep my hands... I'll your papers, your papers. I knew it wasn't us. I knew it wasn't us, Julie. <laughs> Kristen. Yes. Tell me the correct title of this movie. He's just like, I'm not doing this. We're moving on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep going. Is it Sister Swap City, uh, Christmas in the City? Is it Sister Swap Christmas Time in the City? Or is it you. Sister Swap It's Christmas Time in the City? I hate you. It's the, it's the, it's for sec, it's the second one. Are you sure? Yes. You're incorrect. It is the first one. Sister Swap, Christmas in the City. I, Ashley yes. Williams and Kimberly Williams Paisley. I love it. You should have had that. I don't know why you didn't have that. That's easy. He's going to give me the most difficult. <laughs> Kristen, please. Give me a really Let's hard one. A give couple more one. questions first before. All right, Julie, this, is, uh, this one is catered specifically for you. Ooh. Which of these is an actual Hallmark actor? Ooh. Bill Romanowski. Roger Craig, Ronnie Lott, or Niall Mader? <laughs> well, those are all 49er guys, except for Niall. Yes. That's correct. Hey. That's an old one. You pulled it. You, you went deep. Yeah, I, uh, I did. I, I went, well, I, I had to put Ronnie Lott on there because I always played um, with the Niners on Tecmo Bowl, and Ronnie Lott was going to intercept. <laughs> that, um, that is the sweatshirt and jersey that Connor wears. Oh. When we, go to, when we go to watch games or, or Dre Greenlaw. Um, he, those, okay. are his two. those are his two that he wears. Okay. Wow. Well, you're clearly a Niners fan. Kristen's clearly an Eagles fan. Kristen, answer this question. Which of these is a Hallmark actor? Is it Steve Van Buren, Travis Van Winkle, Norm Van Brocklin, or Ben Van Summeren? Tra Travis, Travis Van Winkle. Are you sure? No. <laughs> But you are correct. That yeah. Is correct. I, are those all other Eagles fans? Yeah, Eagles everyone players? else is an Eagles player. Yeah. yeah. Also very old. They were all all of our vans. Kevin's like the older brother that I didn't want. <laughs> Come on. How far away are you guys from each other physically? Um. Not far enough. Not <laughs> twenty five uh, minutes. Yeah. 25, 30 minutes, depending on. We could on. easily do this in the same room. We, we could do. very easily do this in the same room. We just <laughs> choose not to. <laughs> That's funny. I live like literally a half a mile from the stadium. So right oh, do you there. really? Cool. Yeah. So like when Taylor Swift was at the link, I could sit out back and just listen to her -uh. and hear it clear as day. <laughs> no way. Did and you, then did, it's Kevin, great. did you go to her house and listen? She, she didn't invite me. I didn't invite mm. you. But Although we did I, stop at your house after seeing Pink because my daughter had to pee. Yeah. She goes, oh, that's cute. Pee, and we had just walked out and I was like, uh, let's go to Christmas. Uh, well, that's let's go to Christmas. Good. That's convenient. Yeah. By the way, my Stanley cup is empty like every cup in every movie. Empty. Oh, yeah. yeah. Empty, empty, empty. Oh, I, Julie, you have to know this. So uh, I don't know why you have to, but it's sure. I'm plugging a show, but also talking about what you just brought up. Uh, I do this improvised Hallmark movie show yeah 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 so uh this year we're adding actual props but with nothing in them and oh we're very God. excited yes about it. it's my We've biggest thought, pet peeve that's hilarious you should just like you just wave we're them just around gonna like throw this. them yeah, all that's over great. the place that's yeah hilarious yeah. I can't That's... wait. I don't know why we've never, I mean, cause like we don't have props for everything. So it felt weird to just have that, but this is our no, third that's year. That's such a like, great nuts. <laughs> it makes people nuts. I found out why though. And now no, I can't, 
Yeah, because if there's stuff in it and they spill on their costumes or they spill on their wardrobe, then yeah. they kind of lose the time and they don't maybe and then what if they don't have what if they can't replace the wardrobe and what if they don't have the match? So that's why it's empty, even if it's not even water can sort of screw up something. So that's I, why I still but I, but I'm gonna oh I invented cup. something. I invented something. It's weighted cups. Yeah, yeah. Look like they have something in them. Yes. I, I just I just wrote that somewhere. Where did I write that? Do you remember those cups? Do you, need, wait, do you need me to edit this I out? When I was yeah. younger, it would be like they were clear and plastic, and it looked like you could see like glittery water inside. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, or, yep. But they could just use those. Yeah, that's right. That but, might be like that might be my. I, I'm inventing like the um, coffee sleeve. Like, that could be my big. I, my big right. idea is fake. Well, on stage though, on Broadway they use in uh, in Hamilton or wherever they have the mugs that look like there's boots the beer. stuff coming oh, out and beer. Stuff. Yeah, they're like, yeah. and they feel they yeah. So yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, come on, maybe I better start directing. I better just change Ooh, careers. Yeah. Exclusive. Julie Sherman Wolf is going to direct her next Hallmark film. <sighs> yeah, I've been wanting. Not. I've been wanting to create a sketch where I just am a serious acting teacher teaching actors how to carry cups with nothing in it without looking like there's nothing in it. And Kevin, we it's should impossible. It. It's not possible. I have a cup here that's almost empty, and you you, you could just you just I know it. Here, I can't do it. No, That's, I was making fun of the other the actors a little bit on the uh, cruise about like when's the last time you had to do space work because they had to they yeah. had to for the pantomime thing. Yeah, they had to do the space as, work as improvisers. Kevin and I, that's all we do half yep. the time. Right. So. We get oh my god! I taught a workshop called "Don't Walk Through My Coffee Table." Oh yeah, <laughs> oh that's my god, that's such a big thing in improv. And it was yeah. like you establish this table, and then someone just walks through it, and like I just I made it's it. in that isn't that there's that, and there's like the you know there's the they can't think of anything else, so it's the digging the digging the grave hole, fall in. Uh, isn't, so isn't that the one everyone needs? Yep. That's correct. At the oh, groundlings, God. I took it. I took the groundlings up to the point where they said, "You know what? You're a good writer, but you're not a good actor, so you're done." <laughs> there was a point. It was Tim. It was Tim Bagley actually who said that to me. Yeah. He said, "You know, we're at the point here where, yeah, you know, you're a really good writer, but you're not. You're not going to be on the stage." And I said, "Okay, thank you very okay, much. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank but you. at least someone said that to you, like, oh yeah, no, I, I kind of knew that already. I need that kind of news. You know what I mean? No, or I, I sort of knew it. I, I was but, well aware. I, I would yeah. get. I was really good at cold readings, and I would get parts and stuff, and then I would be terrible. Oh, so um, it's fine. We all have our. We all have yeah, our things. thing. It's fine. Yeah. It's yeah. fine. What was the last acting job that you did do? You remember? Oh, yes. <laughs> Go your on. Eyes, that was it. Your eyes did the. Oh no. <laughs> it was La Jolla Community Theater in San Diego. Okay. And I was. In, I was. I think I was a sophomore in college, and I tried out, and I was the daughter in Life with Father. Oh wow! And my and I was played like the little daughter Mary, and my line that was terrible is. Me saying, well, they say that we're gonna go, <laughs> we're gonna go to Delmonico's, and my line is, Delmonico's. <laughs> <laughs> so far, it's it great. So bad, Delmonico's. Like it's just, it's just so bad, and I just, and and I just, yeah, I think about how it many a lot. times did you like practice it in front of a mirror, like Delmonico's, Delmonico's. Delmonico. Delmonico. And I, said, I must have done it well in the in the in the, the tryout, but. <laughs> I, I love that you were told, hey, you're you're gonna be a writer, and you're like, yeah, but you still have that line locked and loaded, meaning yeah. that, that dream is not dead. It's, it's dead, it's dead. I, I did, don't feel it is. Did, you know why? Because I did stand up and that took that that gave me we the, talked about that. Yeah. Yeah, it, that gave me the, the what I needed because it wasn't really acting, yeah, yeah. but it was still right. It's storytelling. You can still do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I might I keep thinking, you know, when I if I ever stop writing. You know, I'm gonna be one of those old ladies that does stand up, like one of those, those one of those kicky old ladies yeah. that that swears and talks about yeah. stuff Hell yeah. that old ladies shouldn't talk about. That's what and I'm gonna do. And please, like my my dream is to bring a chair up with me when I start doing stand up as an old mm -hmm. lady, not a stool, like a straight like up a straight up like cushy chair. chair. There's and an old guy that's really funny. I keep seeing him on Facebook. Have you seen him? He's super no. duper old. I can't remember his name. A chair. 
Uh, yeah, he had. It does he have? Oh. It's not a cushy chair. I think you should bring it. It should be like a full a cushy, arm chair. Lazy boy. Arm chair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a, yeah. yeah. Or like a lazy boy. A lazy boy, because then you know, in the middle of your set, you go, you know what? I'm just gonna. You know what? (laughs) (laughs) Yep. Or I could do. Or I could go on on tour and just tell jokes about Hallmark Channel. Yes. Like just do the Hallmark stand up special. That could be. I I would have to be. I would have to realize I would never get hired again. So it would have to be. I don't. Do you remember the show Top Model with Tyra Banks? Yes. Uh, Almost every single chicky babe that was on that show is now creating their own TikToks about how awful being on that show was. And now they made a documentary because the girls were talking about it on TikTok Uh, and they're like, let's make money off of it. I don't have enough. I don't have enough, you know, gossip to to do a tell all or to do anything like that. But um, but just everyone knows the tropes so much. I think I could probably throw down five minutes. Oh, for sure. uh, for sure. You know, I'm yeah. good. I'm good with what I'm doing. I'm all right. I'm just going to yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah, keep going yeah. till doing awesome. So keep going Ooh. until they tell me to stop. Yeah. They're never going to. That's all keep I'm going to keep doing. <laughs> oh, man. I hope not. At least, you know, not that anytime soon. Got to, you know, put, put my kid through school and uh, yeah. you, you have know. one kid, one kid, one. Yeah. Right. He's got yeah. expensive yeah. taste for colleges, apparently. Yeah, we were talking before we started. He's he's in the crew, so he's got to find that school that oh, get that scholarship. I don't think he's gonna row. I don't know if he's D one crew. Uh, maybe I don't know. You never know. But Philadelphia has a lot of crew. They thing. do. Old House yeah. Row. Drexel. Yeah. Drexel yep. has yep. one. That, that's one school that his, his college counselor likes for him. It actually is Drexel. Oh, well, um, we can take very good care of him. He he likes the idea because we love to be cold and snow and weather oh, and sure. all that. So he likes the idea of kind of going up, like going to Wisconsin or um, yeah, Syracuse or somewhere like that. Well, nice. we can't we can't promise anything here in Philadelphia anymore because uh, it's currently it's yeah. going to snow tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. I think. Oh, you but guys are getting like, the snow. We only got rain. Yeah, yeah, no, we're getting snow, but it was 72 days ago. And yeah, we, yeah. before that, we didn't have rain for 150 days, I think. Yeah, we had, we're in the same, we're really in the same drought. We, we yeah. had the, and I was kind of, I was kind of pissed because I moved out of LA to avoid the word drought. Yeah. Right. And I was like, what the hell? Why? What? It was, yeah, our lawn, you know, it reminded right. me too much of California. It was not, not happy. Yeah, so well, it was good. I literally really got good. to be I literally got to be that middle-aged woman that's like, ah, oh, thank God my plants really needed it. Like when that's it right. finally rained. That's right. That's what I literally my said knees, today. My knees needed no, it. I was going up the set of stairs at work today <laughs> with two of my coworkers. So I was like, oh God, the rain's really hurting my knees. And the other guy who's like 40 something like me was like, Oh, I know. And then the 27 year old was like, Why does the rain affect your knees? And we're You'll like, find Girl. Out. For me, it was just my hair was my, my hair was definitely in great, you know, great, no, not frizzy for all that two months because there was no because it's so yeah. dry. Yeah. But then at the same time, <laughs> I had to go on. A, I did local TV today and oh. I and I was, you know, putting on the lipstick and I my lips were so dry. You could see like the crack, like the, the oh, lipstick yeah. lines yeah. of the dry. <laughs> Don't worry. You're on trend because all through Halloween, I saw that as a trend. People would put like white lipstick on and then they yeah. put black on when they were doing this with their lips really so then when they were like eh? it was like cracked so you are on i'm so friends. cool so yeah. when i put on this lip balm right now that makes me like yeah, yeah. i'm just trying i'm just trying it's i mean you know, we don't, we're is... not sponsored by anyone but carmax is my favorite uh for that for uh yeah the yellow in the tube I Wait. put straight up honey on my lips to try and like that was a yeah, I know I it's not online. called Carmax. It's called Carmax. Car- Carmax. Oh, okay. But I say Carmax because I think they should just be called that. Sure. I, I'm gonna work on my brand. My brand deals, if I ever ever have enough followers to have a brand deal, would be the things that are on my desk, and that's what should be my brand deal. So it should be yeah. this. Yeah. It should be my lip stuff. Yep. It should be um, my chair, like yeah. my desk chair, and and pencils. Like those yeah. are my four. You right, know, like I, like black wing pencils should sponsor me. Ooh, that would be nice. Do you know? Do you know of the black wing pencil? Is do that they, the charcoal one? It's they have four different flavors of well, four different. You know, there's the, there's pearl and there's matte and there's I yeah. love them. Ooh, they get dull really fast, but I love Ooh. them. Like they're just so satisfying. 
Is it a clicky click or is no, it? No, it's a, just a I, I, Of course, I don't have one right next to me to show you. Of course, I don't. You just lost like, your brand deal, Julie. I just lost yeah. my deal. I know. Oh my God, man. Oh, man. Oh, well, forget. I like we're not allowed to write in pen in like scripts when we get them. So I use a pencil, like a number two yellow pencil with an eraser. And all the kids in Spring Awakening are like 20 something years old. And they're like, are you the last person in America to be using a regular pencil? Because no. they all use mechanical pencils. These those break, those break every two seconds, the mechanical pencils. Thank you. This is the bomb, I'm Ooh. telling you. The black wing. It's it's very like it's it's stupid. It's pro it's like, oh, do you have the black wing? And and it's and artsy schmartsy fancy people yeah. would go like, of course I have the black wing. But I well, someone told me about it. I was I uh, like that it's flat because then it yeah. doesn't roll. That's yep. flat. I mean it's not the pencil itself isn't flat, but then the, yeah, this but then the it eraser it from rolling. Yeah, see, that's genius. That. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I know, not sponsored at all. And then I have my little this is so boring. And then I have like my little sharpener that I keep right No, here. it's, I'm telling you, these are so the boring. Choice. You can cut all of this. No, no, we, this all stays in. No, this this stays stays in. no, no, absolutely not. When Hallmark, uh, you know, we mostly just do Christmas Hallmark stuff. When it ends, this turns into a stationary podcast. So, <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. Oh, I've got so much. I've got so much stationary. We're sponsored by Staples. <laughs> yes, Staples. That would be fine. <laughs> And, uh, there's the, and then we can do like you you have the white cat behind you, right? Yeah. So you could you could be sponsored by Home Goods for for but random exactly random. Did you have I ever showed you this? Kevin may, had this made for me. I did. This is this is Tyler Hines. <laughs> Doesn't look like him. I mean, I can see it, but you know what's missing? What toothpick? Toothpick. Yeah. Yeah, you know you what's really funny about on. this? It's also not Tyler Hines because look how flat that ass is. Oh, <laughs> um, and also wait. he needs a bucket hat. He needs. A I bucket know. Hat. Whoever nice. whoever made this on Etsy, do better, but also it's great. It's. Yeah. I mean, should, should have done shirtless. I wanted the white button up. They didn't have one. That's he has that really nice one. white sweater he's been wearing on the cruise. That's sort of that 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 gentleman's cardigan that yep. has the little. I shawl. can't handle it. I can't handle so it. So cute. It's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, am I dressing my husband in a, in a gentleman's cardigan for um, Hallmark Thanksgiving dinner? Perhaps. Ooh, well, did you watch this? Did you watch the Rivals on Hulu? That series that just came out. No. There's an actor who has turned me into a feral woman. His I... name is Aiden Turner, and he has this mustache, and then wears corduroy jackets because it takes place in the '80s. And I literally, my husband came home, and I was like, "Hey, what?" What are your thoughts on mustaches and corduroy jackets? And That's like, what I'm doing to my husband. I'm like, do you like do you like that kind of elbow patch sort of right. you, like the cardigan with the shawl, perhaps? Yeah. You know, and uh, Kevin, are you judging my love of uh, this dude? Always. Well, it's funny. No. Though, so the the premiere, the, the most angst I have in my whole life is what to wear to the premiere because the the dress code mm. is game day glam. I think I, oh, I actually, what does that I actually mean? found. I actually found something to wear, but I don't know how to dress the uh, the boys. Look oh, at this. look at that stash! That is that is like a Magnum PI <laughs> bank robber. Like he Stop. definitely looks like. He look, uh, that's a compliment. Well, wait. Do you did you get to work with Keith, um, who does the costumes for the Chiefs thing? Get him to just pick something for you to wear. I um, I should have done that. I didn't. Yeah. I called. Um, I, I asked one of the actresses if they had a stylist that I could call. And then oh, I, I actually cool. found my own outfit that she, and then but I needed her help on like, I haven't even talked to her yet. I've talked to her tomorrow. Cause I, I'm not, I found the actual clothes, but I don't, you know, I, I, was, do I... Feel like I needed help on, on sort of the yes. accessories, like what, you know, yes. what, kind of, what kind of shoe, what kind of purse. And then I'm always you know. like hair up. Do I do? Like, yeah. Do I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 Julie, are you going day. all out? Are you going to do limo? Are you going to take a limo to the... I believe we are staying in the same complex as the actual premiere. So I do okay. not think we have to get in any oh vehicle. My God. But okay. you probably get to be driven somewhere in a golf cart. Right? Oh, maybe. That's so this will be my first time going to a game where there's sort of a backstage element to it. Yeah. So that'll oh, be that'll be really fun. All around. Please post a picture of you there's riding golf cart really in the, you know, there's in a golf cart. cart. <laughs> there's golf cart in the movie for sure. Yes. There's golf carts. And that's a spoiler. That's we. That's, an that's in the trailer. Episode. That's yeah. well. It's, that's for people who haven't watched the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I really want. I hope you guys get to see it. Um. Oh yeah. Oh, we like, can't wait. You know, oh earlier, my god. I don't know. Yeah. 
Um, wow. Yeah, I was, I was very, I would, I would love, I would love to uh, see the Hanukkah movie before it airs. So I'm going to have to do the thing where I just cower in the corner and hope that I, you know, and like, just, Oh no. <laughs> yeah. I have all my friends over and then I just watch it. Like, like what do you guys think? <laughs> Hanukkah never... starts on the 24th this year. Is that right? Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah. Ooh, it's weird. It's, it's uh, almost, it's the 13th that the move, the uh, Hanukkah on the rocks. Out, so it's yes. Yeah. Before. Okay. okay. Yes. And then a delightful is... reminder. Oopsies. I can't push buttons today. Delightful reminder. 1130. Oh, look at them. They're so yeah. cute. It's so freaking cute. I can't. Ed, Ed Begley's amazing. Um, <sighs> yeah. That's everybody. Cool... Dietrich Bader's amazing. Christine oh. Eversall. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Oh. It's so good. I'm so yeah. happy. Yeah, I'm really wow. happy. I can't wait to see how it turns out, but I'm sure it's going to be awesome. I hope. I don't know if Dietrich remembers me because I, I worked with him so many years ago when he did an a animation show called Baby Blues, and he was one of the he was one of the voices. So I, oh. and I was sort of young and green and probably fifty pounds thinner. So he probably doesn't remember. <laughs> he probably doesn't <laughs> recognize. <laughs> Um, but, when you uh, see him, just say Del Monte. It was that the one, Monica. Monica, oddly enough, one of his lines is sort of you know, how things are in, like become part of your marriage and it's just sort of a thing. So, one of his lines from that show is sort of in our lives all the time. Oh, yeah. So, that's what we'll oh. tell. That's what I will tell him when I see oh, him. Please, <laughs> oh, I do love that when you get to finally meet a person that like. You're a part of my life. Like you lot. really don't even know. Every you time know. we hear the, this one word, we say it the way you say it in yeah. the thing. Yeah. That's kind of how when I got to uh, interview the whole Letter Kenny cast last yeah. year. And like I, the fact that like, uh, to be fair, like anytime oh, yeah. someone says that, I can't, it's like a tick now that I have to do it like oh. they would do it. Do you watch um, What We Do in the Shadows? Oh, yeah. Okay. So every time we watch it for the entire next day, I'm, I just talk like this, like Nando. Yeah, did I just talk like this, yep. you know, like, um, you know, Guillermo. And Guillermo. I just, I, everything I say sounds like not yeah. sound, so I just sound like Nando. Anytime, you, anytime you're going to New York City these days, you have to say it exactly how they say New it. New York City. I like last episode, they said we have to go to New Hampshire. <laughs> 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 I got to meet that the guy that plays Guillermo. I got to interview him. He's really, the kindest, yeah, the oh. most amazing. Just delighted to be here. That is the best show. I love that oh, show. So yeah, it's so He's good. Really it's so cool. perfect. It's a perfect show. I love it. I love it. Well, we've kept you for a very long time. Yeah. I, I've never. I yeah. Who knew? I'm so I sorry. No, it's fine. I, I I don't usually. I I have fun talking to you guys for real. Thank you. We have fun. Going. We say it all the time. Anytime you want to talk, we don't need to turn a camera on. So. Ah, well, oh. you know, don't be afraid if, like, you know, we beat you to 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 still have me on, Kevin. We will. Um, we will. That was Kristen. That was uh. <laughs> I don't know. It was after that. It was after that big win last year, right? You guys. Our like our baseball salty. team crap the bed our football team crap the bed so we were in yeah. more, we were in sports no, I, know. I get, it. I, get yeah. it I get it i get it yeah i'm more of a baseball than a football fan so yeah i'm not even a baseball fan really not much giants kind of but not really our good. baseball team is really hot so i've become a very big fan of our hot like team. hot or hot like they're both. doing well both hot like our players put the picture up put the what picture team up. would that be <laughs> the philadelphia phillies Thank you oh. for asking. We've got Bryce Harper, Trey Turner. We've, it's just, we are, look up the lineup and you're like, excuse me. What team is Paul Skeens on? Pirates. Oh, um, Pirates. That's the yeah. other, that's okay. That was the other one. Yeah. That's Oh, you will be hearing more and more. He's great. He just won rookie of the year. He's great. And also he's really? dating, you know. That doesn't hurt. What's his name? Liv, uh, Livy, Dunn, Livy Dunn, the gymnast, the LSU. Oh, you gotcha. know, come on. They're all over TikTok. I do, I do. I follow, I follow the talk of Tick. Man, yeah, that's where I got all the fun cruise, cruise videos. Yeah, that's what TikTok like, people. Do maybe good. I will start a GoFundMe and just make. Kevin you should. That's totally fun. <laughs> I will donate a, 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 a full dollar toward Thanks. Chris. I'm, you know, you know, I'm here to help. That's sweet. That's that's coming straight. I'm very from generous. Your that's really that's nice. Fun. That's really nice because I know how expensive football tickets are. So, how would you buy them? When she yeah, buys eighteen dollars. They're eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I did not get that deal for the Lions and Niners game. Yeah, so. I, I would doubt you would. Yeah. No. Yeah. So, anyways. 
I'll get that. It was good seeing you guys. You, you too. Too. Thank you so much. Yeah. After you watch the movie, text me and tell me. We'll let you know. Oh my God. Yeah, we can sure. yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Right, bye.